Okay, welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. I'm outside of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania at the abandoned Boyd's Bear. It was like a Build-A-Bear place. Uh, they had crafts there, Yankee Candles. Uh, they actually had a little restaurant at one time. But it's been abandoned for a few years now. But we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at it right after this. Okay, we're coming up on the building now. And trust me, that, that, that mirror there of the teddy bear, of the voyage bear, that used to be very graphic, very detailed. It, 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 it was actually a work of art in its own right. But it's kind of a shame to see all this land and building going to waste. It looks like somebody's maybe growing corn on some of the land. Now, you used to be able to come in here for free and do go shopping or whatnot. Like I said, they had a little restaurant down here. It was really good food. It was like a family style where you just bought it out. Like, if I remember correctly, you could order like roast beef, the roast beef dinner or like the turkey dinner or a combination of roast beef and turkey. It was so, so much a person and they being out a platter of roast beef, then a platter of turkey and a platter of mashed potatoes and you pass it around the table. It, it was actually really nice. I, I really enjoyed that. And he had like a, like a little place out back you could actually rent. And it had music or bands on the weekends and Special events for the kids, like for Halloween and stuff, and Christmas. It was a really, really, really enjoyable place. Like I said, it was free to come. Yeah, I'm not sure the road ends, whether there's a sidewalk at. But let's go ahead and take a little look around the building. You can get an idea of how big the parking lot is. I don't see a bunch of graffiti, which is nice. Maybe that's probably a little smiley face. If that's the only graffiti we actually see. It needs to have like little statues of bears out here. And, uh, I think it was a horse or something. That was a mural of the Gettysburg area. I think that was out here too. Open 10 to 6. Well, not no more. I'm not sure if you can see in the windows or not. Yeah. The information desk used to be right out front there. Sorry, no pets. Apparently birds are getting in there. I'm seeing a lot of bird droppings on the floor. Old 
broken bear statue. Pretty sure right here is the water tower. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It looks like they still have power to the building. Got some lights on inside. Looks like another what used to be a bear statue. It's really a shame. This this was a nice place to come to. Like I said, the food was good. The prices and I were reasonable for what it was. I'm still trying to figure out how to get down below. Let's see if we can figure that out. So we're at the back of the building. Over there is a farm. They like said I think they're farming some of this land. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure you could rent that before for like weddings and stuff. And you had you had three floors. You had your basement. Uh, your first floor, your second floor. Uh, you couldn't get upstairs. I think that's where the security building was. Like where they watch security cameras and stuff. Another great place for a zombie apocalypse, maybe. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. Right there where all the windows are. Funny how nature just takes over stuff, man. All grown up. Used to be outside dining. That's becoming popular now, <laughs> ironically. Still got tables and chairs in here. All nailed up.
see the old bricks and stonework. Emergency exit only. Old vacuum cleaner left behind. Sorry, no slipping in the back door. Looks like an old work area. Over here, it looks like the maintenance shed. These to have plants hanging down. Looks like this used to be open. I, th I think this might have been like the snack bar or something when they had the vents back here. You could still get food and stuff. I think that's what that was. So I just, I really love those old windows. I mean, I, I guess they're not old, but you know what I mean. Sidewalks all running over. There's a pavilion. There's a pavilion right there. But yeah. I'm pretty sure back here they had bands and stuff. If I remember correctly. I remember, I think it was around Christmas time one year, out front they had cloggers. You know, these people that wear those when Susan dance. It's nice. The building's holding up nice. I don't know if they're actually doing any kind of maintenance or not. But... It actually looks really nice. Okay, guys, huh? I might get off here. I was supposed to meet a buddy of mine I went to school with tonight. You know, I figured I was in the area. I check out some of these places. Hopefully you're enjoying these videos. I mean, leave a comment down below. Let me know either way. I do. I do enjoy coming down and looking at all this old stuff. But yeah, I, I, I do enjoy it. It's like documenting history. Because eventually all this stuff's going to be gone. You know, I mean, you can see what's happening. The land just getting overgrown. Parking lot roads. Black tops getting overgrown. I mean, it's funny how nature takes back what was once actually its own. But yeah, it's sad. I'm not really not sure what happened to the company. It's like one day they were here, one day they were gone. Um. Oop! Watch out the board there. Okay, I'm going to head out, except I'm supposed to meet a buddy from high school. And uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying my adventures. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button in one of these upper corners. And as always, thanks for watching.